when you met Kennedy. Yes. What did you think? Well, uh, I thought he had a great streak of irony about the way he talked. Uh, he was very cautious. All the things people said about me, it's reckless and, you know, I was this guy's wife and he asked me to go to Jamaica with him. The stories we get now on the network and in the magazines, it wasn't like that at all, it was like that. And he watched everything I said and if I said, he said, you like Castro? I said, oh yeah, I'm a young guy, I love the idea of revolution. He'd say, you don't find him unstable? He was like uh, an inquisitor and uh, He'd answer questions for me when somebody would say, uh, uh, who are you after and what are you pursuing? Uh, Kennedy would say, everybody, like that. Or if I said, he said, uh, you know, you can profess loyalty to me, but I know guys like you. You love Adlai Stevenson. And if you can't get him, you still won't go to me. You'll get Chester Bowles. And I'd say, you don't like Chester Bowles? He'd say, he still wears button-down shirts. Why should I... So he'd, uh, he'd switch what was at stake when you talked to him, and he had different personas. And for partying, he liked Gene Kelly, talked politics to me, and they hired me, and I wrote some jokes. Did you find him intriguing? Oh, yeah. Very, you know, extremely bright and very aware that the liberals were going to be more trouble than the other party. He got that right away. He's very smart. And he had a great sense of humor. And uh, uh, there's nothing I put in front of him that he couldn't pick up and run with. And he understood all the material. I wrote for a lot of people, relatively. But he understood all the material. And he never objected. The old man... Uh, objected on religious grounds. He never objected. I gave him that joke where he said, uh, is it going to hamper you to run as a first Catholic candidate? And he said, uh, I said, you say to them, uh, uh, it's not the hereafter that concerns me. It's November 4th is driving me out of my mind. And he took it right away, put on like a cloak that fit, you know. And uh, you're going to meet the Pope. Are you going to kiss his ring? No, we made a special arrangement. I'm going to call him Jack, he's going to call me John. He took all that, you know. So it was playful at the beginning, and then we had some good arguments, too. Uh, I asked about his friendship with Nixon <laughs> and everything, and he stressed to me that you can learn from everybody. So he was, uh, he was very sharp. He even gave me romantic advice. He's, what did he say? Well, uh, I was going out with an actress then named Phyllis Kirk, and he said to me, bad pick is a mover. You don't pick chicks that way. And I never asked him for any romantic advice. 